Our next aspect on which we have to learn now is the satellite towns. The satellite towns is defined as a self-contained but limited in size town built in the vicinity of a large metropolitan city or parent city to house and employ growing population those who would otherwise create a demand for expansion of the existing settlement in a metropolitan city. And we can see that Vikarabad is a satellite town to Hyderabad, Yalahanka, Kengiri, they are satellite towns to Bengaluru. And there are Arakonam, Chengalpattu, all these, Kanchipuram, all these are satellite towns to Chennai. Panchkula, Mohali to Chandigarh, Gurgaon, Sonipat, Noida, Ghaziabad, they are satellite towns and the parent city is Delhi. Sanand as a satellite town to Ahmedabad, the parent city. Navi Mumbai, the satellite town to Mumbai, the parent city. And you can see in the map the location of these towns. Now what was the purpose of developing a satellite town? Now satellite town was developed with a purpose of regulating the growth or regulating the growth of population in the main metropolitan or parent city by creating an attractive urban center to wherein the in migrants could be absorbed and therefore it had the, the purpose was to decongest the parent city it was also planned to have the housing affordable housing for low income group and economically weaker section to develop new areas of economic growth to achieve a quality of life in the new satellite towns as compared to the degraded environment of the parent city and to utilize the potential of the region and overcome the polarization and primacy of the or in the region. Satellite towns are basically governed by their own local bodies. They are planned with facilities and services and but in most cases they rely on the parent city because facilities and services or job opportunities are not provided or planned in the satellite cities and only they become like dormitory towns that means they are planned for residential purposes only. What are the planning and development considerations of the satellite towns? You can see from here satellite towns are identified in terms of the size, the distance from parent city and the potential of the town. And one needs to assess the development potential of the towns based on the assessment of the parent city and the selected town in terms of their growth trend, in terms of their uh, growth potential, the capacity to absorb induced growth and the status assessment of the town as well as the status assessment of the parent city. Then one need, needs to plan for self-sufficiency and contained growth in the satellite town which has to provide, which ideally needs to provide affordable as well as adequate housing, provide for employment opportunities, then facilities and amenities, smart technologies and the satellite towns also need to have good governance that is well well articulated institutional responsibilities. We come to the three case studies pertaining to satellite towns. The first case or the first scenario is about the satellite towns depend on the parent city for economic needs, social needs, recreational needs and but it caters to the residential needs of the growing population and Pachkula Mohali is a case to prove the point. Our second scenario, Pachkula Mohali with Chandigarh as the parent city is a case to prove the point. As the second scenario is where the satellite towns have slow growth and it does not help contain the growth of the parent city. The case of Sanand in Gujarat with the parent city of Ahmedabad is the case to prove the point. Third scenario is where the growth of the satellite town is as anticipated. The satellite towns, town caters to the residential needs with adequate infrastructure and with strong economic base. And 
A good example is Navi Mumbai for the parent city of Mumbai. Yeah, the repetitive order. Last, I will just say in front. Therefore, in the first scenario where dependence on the parent city is there, people have to commute every day to the parent city from the satellite towns and it just it contains the city in t or it helps the parent city in terms of only decongesting in only for residential purposes because for the other needs the people are traveling or have are commuting to the parent city in the second scenario the parent city or the satellite town does not help to contain the growth and the satel the city or the parent city grows in a fa at a fast pace and the third scenario where the purpose and objectives of satellite town is achieved now let us come to the first scenario that is about uh, chandigarh the parent city and pachkula mohali the satellite towns now why did chandigarh need satellite towns in the first place chandigarh was a landlocked city planned for 5 lakh population and it could not accommodate increasing population so therefore two satellite towns were planned that is mohali the industrial township and pachkula the residential township and if you can see mohali had a population of 1.66 lakhs and pachkula a population of 2.1 lakhs and the areas are given here in the table you can see and um, as we can see that uh, the growth rate of chandigarh had declined from 40% to 20% in two decades that is from 1991 to 2001 to 2001 to 2011 after that the satellite towns came up and both satellite towns were growing at a fast pace pachkula grew, was growing at a faster pace as i had explained earlier that the satellite towns ideally should provide for residential then employment opportunities services and facilities however we see that in case of pachkula and mohali it it does not satisfy the purpose of a satellite towns in terms of economic base infrastructural needs and recreational needs the two satellite towns that were planned that is mohali which is an industrial township lacked social and recreational recreational infrastructure need whereas pachkula the residential township lacked economic functions economic opportunities social and recreational infrastructure needs and therefore the lack of this economic opportunities and social and recreational needs led to high commuting commuting population from pachkula and mohali to the parent city out of the total trips made in a day in pachkula one can see nearly 40% of trips are made to chandigarh in case of mohali one sees that about 55% trips are made to chandigarh coming to the next case that is scenario 2 where sanand sanand is was planned as a satellite town to amdabad and which is under amdabad urban development authority to satisfy the purpose of a satellite towns in terms of economic base so sanand had a strong economic potential it was linked to main highways that is state highways national highways and ports mundra and dholera it was part of a special investment zone it was in close proximity to dmic and adjoining scz the factory manufacturing tatas nano cars was a main economic driver in sanand sanand had a population of about 41000 however though it had strong economic potential but sanand lacked and did not satisfy the purpose of a satellite town in terms of infrastructure needs and recreational needs it lacked adequate infrastructure like water supply and sanitation and therefore it recorded a population growth of less than 5% per annum and the projected population for 2011 was 1 lakh which was not achieved the third scenario that is speaking about navi mumbai navi mumbai satisfied the purpose of a satellite town in terms of economic base infrastructure needs residential needs and recreational needs and navi mumbai is already half the size of greater mumbai 
and is growing at a fast pace. Navi Mumbai is well planned having 14 self-contained nodal settlements with the CBD. It has housing at affordable rates. It has employment opportunities with growth of the industrial, commercial and informal sector. It is well connected to Greater Mumbai via rail and road. 